For thousands of years, wars were won and lost by the sword. Swords help shape history. And although those days are gone, swords are not. Today, modern artisans craft historical replicas, and they go to the hilt to get the details just right. This reproduction of a medieval sword is ready to capture your imagination and take you back to the days of knights in shining armor. To make one, they place a piece of high carbon steel in a fixture. Computer-guided blades carve out the basic geometry of the sword that has all the specifications of the original. Centuries ago, a blacksmith would have done this painstakingly by hand, but with this machine, the job is no sweat and the cut is much more consistent. After about an hour of carving, they have a nicely tapered sword blank. They submerge it in hot liquid salt. It's a critical step. It softens the steel to eliminate stresses created by the carving. Next, they plunge the blade into containers of cool liquid in a process called quenching. It immediately hardens the edges of the sword, but the center cools more slowly. This allows the blade to retain flexibility, which will give the sword that springy quality. Using a belt grinder, they fine tune the geometry of the blade and sharpen the edges. After that, it's sharp enough to slice paper to shreds. To test the blade's strength, they smite a metal barrel with it. Incredibly, it doesn't chip. They pump wax into molds to make historically accurate copies of the hilt parts. Like the pommel, which is the counterweight at the end of the hilt. And the guard that separates the blade from the handle. They use the wax copies to cast the parts in metal. Then they grind and polish the cast metal pieces. They smooth away the rough edges on this sword guard and hone its profile. Grinding the pommel is a challenge because it has more curves and angles. One mistake and the pommel could end up lopsided, which means it wouldn't be very effective as a counterweight. With the blade in a padded vise, they slide the guard onto the tang and cushion it with a piece of plastic and a metal pipe. Then they pound it into position with a sledgehammer. Next, they pummel the pommel into place. And then they top it off with a small piece of steel called a peen block. They blast it with a torch. This softens the peen so it spreads as they hammer it down. They apply epoxy to the wood grips and spread more epoxy on the handle of the sword. Then clamp the grips onto either side of it. Next, they brush black dye onto a thin piece of leather and coat the other side with glue. They wrap the glue and dye drenched leather around the wooden handle. They bind it with cord to compress the leather wrap while it dries. They're now ready to brand the blade with the maker's insignia. Chemicals etch the mark into the steel a millimeter deep. And now you have a replica that's true to the medieval original. And it will take you back in time at Sword Point.